Hi, I'm David Stjernholm and this is the 445th edition of Done. Today's episode is about whether you should mix work tasks with private tasks in your to-do list. Having a single to-do list is something I definitely recommend, since having just one list makes it easy to make sure you have not forgotten or missed anything. It makes it possible to relax, since you know that no unpleasant surprises in the form of remembering tasks you should have completed ages ago are waiting around the corner. Does this mean that I also recommend you mix all your work-related to-do tasks with all the things you have to do in your private life in one single list? No, not necessarily. As I see it, this is a matter of preference and up to you. It's not the most important pillar of structure and the decision one way or the other will not be the tough that makes it topple over. The crux is whether or not someone else needs insight into your structure and planning. If I was an employee in a company where others could view my to-do list, I wouldn't feel comfortable keeping all my private doings in, for instance, the Outlook tasks I use for work. If this was the case, I would have separated work and private life into two different lists. This would have been completely okay since it would be clear to me when I was in work mode and when I was my private self. But I'm employed in a very small business that has only one employee, myself. This means that no one else needs to view my to-do list or data, which is why I sometimes mix personal and work-related to-do items on the same list and in the same tool. Only you can decide what will work best for you. So do this. If you still haven't made up your mind as to how you should handle this matter, take a moment right now and think it over. Should you mix everything you have to do in the same list or keep work and your personal life separate? To help you make the matter clearer, you could ask yourself. Are you the only one who needs to view and have an insight into your work-related tasks? Is the list as easily accessible when you're not at work as when you are? Do you find it easy or hard to disconnect from work-related tasks when you're not at work, even if you should happen to catch a glimpse of something that has to do with work? If you answered no to any of these questions, then you'll probably be wise to separate the work list from your personal to-do list. If you still need access to your personal list when you're at work, since you, like myself, sometimes come to think of things concerning your private life in the middle of the workday, you could keep your personal list in an online service such as Todoist. That way you can view the personal list in your internet browser or on your phone without having to include it into the to-do list tool you use at work. Because if you separate your personal to-do list from your work-related list, you'll make the boundary between when you're at work and when you're free and at home even more clear. If you keep everything in one single list, you'll always be able to see all the things you have to do, regardless if it concerns your work or personal life. It's up to you to decide what benefit you appreciate and value more. How did you solve this common issue? Do you keep your list separate or mixed into one big one? Please write to me and share your thoughts. I'm curious of what you did and especially why you decided to do what you did. You'll reach me by emailing david at stjernholm.com. Do you know someone who could use some guidance concerning this matter? If so, you could send them this episode. The more people who work with structure, the better all our workdays become. Thank you for joining me for this week's edition of Done and see you again next week.